Hello, and welcome to Word of Hope. I'm Brother Joe Trout, coming to you for Wednesday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time. And I have filmed this Sunday, so I have absolutely no idea what has gone on in the last few days as I'm saying this. But I suspect that there are a lot of feelings going around in our society today. Despair, hope, excitement, any number of different things. But St. Paul gives us some wonderful guidance for how you and I ought to live today, right here, right now. His advice is that we who are living in the midst of a perverse generation ought to shine like stars in the heavens. We should be like the stars in the nighttime, that ideally people are drawn to Christ. Christ the Son illuminates every pocket and corner of their lives that they might live honorably as in the day. But a lot of people get distracted. The night comes. They can't see Christ. They're not illuminated by faith to see the divine providence at work. They're not able to see the fascinating in many ways that God is drawing all things to himself and that whether it seems bad or seems good, somehow God is at work to draw everything to himself. This gets really hard to spot it sometimes. We're not only blinded by our despair, sometimes we're blinded by having hope in the wrong things. But if we live honorably as Christians, we are stars in the nighttime that other people are living in, guiding them through the obscurity, through the confusion, that the day may come. That as our world is angry, frustrated, any number of things today, our lives should guide them through that to the tranquility of Christ, the delight and the joy of Christ. And how do we do that? Well, one of the things Paul says to us is that we ought not grumble. We ought to go about our work without grumbling. Now that's hard to do, right? That is a particularly tough challenge for a lot of us. That we can live this day without grumbling, without giving in to negativity, whether we dislike what's going on in society or whether we're grumbling about the people who dislike it while we're happy. Any number of different things. To live this day rejoicing in the goodness of God. Rejoicing in a God who sets us free from sin and death, who is guiding in some strange, unfathomable way all things into his loving hands that we might live in him. So today, whatever you might feel, whatever you might want to feel, choose to rejoice. Choose not to grumble. Be the star in the nighttime for others that they may pass through the darkness and find the light of Christ. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.